Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this scarf. Now I've called it the ploughman scarf, but it can be a plough woman scarf, a plough person scarf, it can be a plough anything scarf, because the ridges on it look like a ploughed field. When I was up at my sister Sandra's, the farmer was ploughing the fields that are all around her house. And I thought, that's a really nice pattern. I'm going to have to look for a stitch that kind of makes it look like a ploughed up field. It was a really pretty pattern. You can do it that way if you want. You still get those lovely ridges. And that's the pattern there. It's really pretty. And you get it on both sides comes on both sides. Now this scarf was done long ways. I did it in a big long length. I didn't go I didn't go from bottom to top as in the traditional manner. I went along the way so that when it's around your neck and hanging down you can see that lovely ridge. Look at that, you can see it there. You can see that nice ridge. That one's moved around a little bit. It should be around there. I was messing about with it. But it is really pretty. It's really quick. It's only a one row repeat. You do the foundation row and then you turn it and you start the pattern and it's just a one row repeat. And I'll show you how to do that. Now what I've also done with this, I've also made a hat. A really nice warm thick hat. Look at this. Now this is a cheats hat. So this is a plough hat. I'm going to call this a plough hat and a plough scarf. That sounds a lot better. So this hat there is no increasing and no decreasing. It's a cheat hat. It's a cheat way. <laughs> a complete cheat way to make a hat. And it's absolutely amazing. It's really easy, especially for beginners. And I've put a pom pom. You don't need to put the pom pom in the top. You can make the pom pom out the yarn if you want. But I bought these nice big multicolored pom poms. Now, where's my bag? We've got a big bag of different colored ones. You'll see them in the video when I post a video up for the hat and I'll leave a link under the video where you can get these big pack of mixed pom-poms you get two of each colour but anyway look at that it's absolutely beautiful so in this video I'm going to show you how to do the beautiful scarf first you can use any yarn for this and use the hook size it tells you on the yarn. Now the thicker the yarn you use, the smaller the chain will be. So that's why I haven't told you a specific number of stitches. Do it in sets of four. Then wrap it around your neck. Put it around your shoulders, up and down the front to how long you want it to be. So do your chain the length you want your scarf. Normally scarves are built, you build them this way. You do your small chain and you work up the way. This one is done in a long length like this. And then when it hangs around your neck, when it hangs around your neck like this, then you get this pretty pattern. Do you know what you could also do with this? You could put these together. You could actually join a certain amount of this like that if you join it that'll become a hood and you can turn this into a hooded scarf you can turn it into a hooded scarf so easily just by taking an amount of it and then just stitch up the back and that'll become the hood if you want to do that well mine's is not mine's is just a normal scarf mine's is just a scarf like this so i'm going to show you how to do it so to do this scarf, we're going to do a stitch count of four. You're going to do it in sets of four, but you're going to do it as long as you want it to go around your neck. So when I was at my sister's and I ploughed up the fields and I thought, that looks like that stitch that I've been doing. And so that's why I've called this the plough stitch. So I'm going to do a chain and I'm going to do it in sets of four and do it quite slack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. I'm going to do a sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the fourth stitch. Into the fourth stitch in this. So we're going to do the foundation row first. Into the fourth stitch. Put your yarn over and go into that stitch. 
Now that's actually becomes your chain two at the beginning and then that's at the beginning of your row. So into that same stitch we're going to put another treble crochet. Now if you're in the USA these are double crochets for you. They're treble crochets in the UK. It's the same stitch. We just call it something different. So into that same stitch we're going to put one more. You're going to chain two, one, two, this is a lovely hook this, and in to that same stitch you're going to put a UK double crochet. Now if you're in the USA this is a single crochet, it's the same stitch, we just call it different names. So straight in there you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. You're going to skip three, one, two, three. And into the next stitch, you're going to do that cluster all into the same stitch. One treble crochet, it's a double if you're in the USA. One more, chain two. You've got to remember these chain twos. It's the chain twos that we're going to use when we come back the other way. So chain two and into the same stitch do a UK double crochet and that's a single if you're in the USA. So we're going to work all the way along so skip three, one, two, three and do that cluster. Now this is your foundation cluster so chain two and into that same stitch do your double crochet. Skip three, one, two, three and then put your two treble crochets, one, two, chain two and do a double crochet into here. Skip three, one, two, three and do the same. You'll do that all the way along the length. So I'm going to skip three. I'm actually going to skip two because I want to do a treble crochet. So I'm going to skip three, one, two, three and if you've only got two, don't worry, just go into your end stitch. If you've got more than the, your three, your four, you can pick one out. Just pick it out at the end. So into the last stitch, it's a scarf, so it doesn't really matter if you've got one less stitch here, if you've miscounted. So two, two chain, and into that same stitch for my double crochet. Now what I'm going to do is, this is the one side of my scarf. It's so both sides are the same. We're going to turn it around. Take that tail end down here. And we're going to work into these chain spaces. But right into this very first gap, what you're going to do is, I'm going to chain two, one, two. And in to this little chain space, that's my chain there into that space I'm going to do my first cluster so one two my two stitches chain two then into the same space I'm going to do that double crochet we're going to do that all the way along the end so that gives this edge of your scarf the same pattern as the other side you'll see that in just a moment so now we're going across to the chain space here you're going to put your two trebles, one and two, chain two and a double crochet into that space. Now go along to the next one and do the same in the chain space. Get some more yarn. Work your way along. Chain two and in. So we'll work to the end. Skip that cluster and go into the chain space. So I'm at the end, I've done that little pattern. What I'm going to do into this last space here, I'm going to do that two trebles, one and two. I'm going to chain two and do my double crochet. So what that does is, it gives you that edge along the bottom of your scarf. So you don't need to go back at the end and redo that. 
So now we're going to work on your scarf. Now remember, you'll have a much longer, a much longer length for your scarf. I'm going to chain two, one, two. So this is just a small sample. And like you saw at the beginning, I've got my other big long one. Just do it really long because we're doing it in the width rather than length and working up that way. So I've done a chain of two. This is the row you'll keep repeating from now on. Now that's my, there's my chains. This is my cluster here and that's my chain of two. So I've done two chain to begin with. Now I'm going to go into that chain space and put my two treble crochets. One and two. Chain two, one, two. Now, what you're going to do is get that nice plow looking pattern around that second treble crochet. We're going to do a front post double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a front post single crochet. So don't do a yarn over, just put your hook in between those two stitches and around that one. So the post of that stitch is on the front. Put your yarn over and pull it through and you've got two loops. So yarn over and come through those two loops. So we've done a double crochet around that post. So jump over, skip this and go into your next chain of two. Don't go in here, make sure you're going into the next cluster set and into the chain and put your two treble crochets. These are double crochets if you're in the USA. One, two, do your chain of two. You need that chain of two and that's your two treble crochets. Go around and do a double crochet. That's a single if you're in the USA. So over to the next chain space. This is your next cluster. That's your chain. Don't go into that space. Don't touch that stitch. Go into that two chain space. That's why you've got to remember and do your two chain. That's what you'll be working in. So put your two trebles into that chain space. One and two. Chain two. One, two. And that's your two stitches there. Go around the post of that stitch. In between the stitches, not in the top, in the middle. Around like that. And pull through. And do that all the way to the end. Jump over to your next one. And put your cluster in. Two trebles. Into that chain space. Chain two. And then around that second treble post around there and do a double crochet and that's a single if you're in the USA so over to your next chain do that all the way to the end one and two chain two and around the post so I'm at my last cluster here I'm going to do my two treble crochets into there. That's double crochets if you're in the USA. Chain two and I'm going to go around. Now I've got a little chain two here and I've got my two treble crochets. Go around that post and in to the top of this chain of two. Count one and two and put a treble crochet in to there and through there. That second stitch. That keeps your edge straight. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and turn your work around. Just turn it around. Don't touch this bottom part. That's the edge of your scarf. So that saves you for having to go back at the end and re and do this, try and put it in. So at least it's done already. So now we're going to work into the chain spaces. You'll always be working into these chain spaces and then around the posts. So I've done my chain of two. So into the chain space, you get your two trebles, one and two. You've got to put two in, because if you don't, you won't have that second one to wrap around when you do your next row. Chain two. 
and you've got to do your chain two or you won't have anything to work in at all. So chain two. And there's my two trebles. I'm going to go around that second one. So straight in and do a double crochet around. That's the smaller stitch. So over to the chain and do your two trebles. You're going to do this for as many rows as you want your scarf to be. As thick as you want it. Then around that one. Over to the next one. One, two. Chain two. And around that second post there. Now, what you can see is, as your scarf gets wider, it'll be up and down this way. Your scarf will be up and down this way. And that's you got your, your pattern on the end. And when you're finished, you'll have the pattern on this end when it gets up to here. And I'll show you again at the end. So that's what you do. You'll do that. I did 20 rows. Just work your way to the end. So when you're at the end, you'll work around that post with your double crochet and then count one, two stitches and do a treble in that last chain. That was your turning chain. So I'll work along to the end and I'll show you one more time. And you do as many rows as you want your scarf, you want the width of your scarf to be. So I'm nearly at the end. I've got my last one to do. And this is the row that you'll just keep repeating this row. So around that stitch. So I've got my chain of two here on the end. So around that post with a double crochet. And then we're going to do into the one, two, into the second stitch in this chain. Do a treble crochet. That's a double crochet if you're in the USA. Chain two and turn. And then we're going to work into the chain space again all the way around. That's what you'll keep doing until the scarf is as wide as you want it. Chain two and around that second treble crochet post. Not into the top, we're going around that post and through those two loops. And that's what you'll do all the way along for until your scarf is as wide as you want it around your neck. So this is the width that I've done my scarf. And if I tip that up, you can see what I mean about it looking like a ploughed field. If this was done in all shades of brown, it would look absolutely amazing. And I love it. I love this stitch. I love the way it's come out. It does have a very slight difference in the pattern from one to the other. Maybe not when we turn it this way. As you can see, it's still got that deep ridge in it. So I'm going to show you how to make this end. As you can see, it's got those little eyelets on it. Now, remember we did the foundation row first. And then we turned it over and we started the pattern. So what we're going to do now is I've done 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 rows. That one's 17 and this last one will be 18. Now I was going to do 20 but for this thick yarn this, uh, this is enough. 16, that one near 17. And then the one I'm going to do is 18. That's wide enough for a weight 4 yarn. And this is the yarn that I've been using. I'll just give you a little reminder. It's Super Saver Ombre. It's a 4 weight yarn. And it's a red heart. A red heart one. If you're in the, U the UK, you can use an Aran yarn. You can actually use any yarn you want. Just use the hook size it tells you to use on your label. You can do this in double knitting. You can do it in two ply, you can do it in three ply, you can even do it in chunky. But obviously if it's chunky you're going to have bigger stitches in your foundation and if it's a thinner yarn, like a double knit, you maybe need more stitches. As long as you're doing it in sets of four. So I've done my chain of two. Done my chain of two and I've turned my work. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the two trebles, the three, the two chain and the one double crochet all into the chain spaces. We're going to do what we did down here on this very foundation row. We're going to put them all into the chain space. So in here I'm going to put two treble crochets, one and two. I'm going to do my two chain, one, two, and then double crochet into the same chain space. Then I'm going to move over to the next chain space. Get my yarn sorted. One, two, into the chain space, chain two, and then my double crochet into the same chain space. And what that's going to do, it's going to make it with that little space there, the same as down here. So the top of your blanket will be the same as this bottom ridge. And that way you don't need to do anything else to it. So that's one, two, chain two, and double crochet onto that same space. So I'm on my last chain here. So I'm going to put my cluster in. One, two, chain two, and my double crochet all into that same chain. Now I'm just going to finish it off by pushing through here and doing a slip stitch. I'll get my scissors. Now you can put a fringe on this if you want. You don't have to. And then just pull that yarn through that loop to lock it in. And then you'll get a darning needle and you'll sew that in. And that's it. That is it done. We've got this end very similar to this end with your little spaces. You've got your little spaces here and here. And then you've got your ploughed field in the middle. If I hold this up, you'll see what I mean by it looking like the furrows in a field. I'll turn it around. And look at that, you get this beautiful furrowed pattern in it. You can do it that way if you want. You can do as many sets of your four stitches as you want and then just work up that way and have all this going up that way. And in the next video I'll have the hat and I've done a hat, a really easy hat and you don't have to increase or decrease any of the stitches on this. I'll show you this in another video. It's really quick how to do this little hat that matches it. And I've put this little multicoloured pom-pom on. I didn't have one that was all blue <laughs> to match. So I'll show you this in another video. If you want to put a fringe on, all you have to do is make a load of this. Just do this. Get them all kind of the same. Just fold it over, keep folding your yarn over, then you're going to cut it. Get my scissors. I'll see if these ones will manage to do it. Cut it and then cut through your loops. Just cut through these loops and you'll have some loops like this. And if you put them on two at a time, you can always trim this once you've done it all. Then just get your hook and push it through. Catch your loops and pull them through like this. And then just feed these tails through there. And then give it a good pull. That's how you add a fringe. If you want to add a fringe to the edge of your scarf. Now I'm going to take that back out because... Sandra doesn't want a fringe on hers, I've already asked her. And look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. And to adjust this to any size, do your chain, do your foundation chain to any length you like. Any length. And it's a lot quicker to work it up with, I did 18, I did 16 rows and that one was 17 and that one was 18. I'm sure that's what I said earlier. <laughs> It's not too thick, it's not too wide. If you want to do it wider, you can do it wider. But I did it on the length so that I could get that ploughed pattern 
the one where it looks like that ridge running down like a ploughed field. It's really pretty. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully my cold will be gone by the next video that I do. Please click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.